How do you and I think about the world? One way that people have in common is through numbers. But what are numbers like 2 or 8? Where do numbers come from? Maybe numbers are part of the natural world. Or are they products of the human brain? These kinds of questions were a hot topic in science at the end of the 19th century. We're going to look at a number system called Piano Arithmetic, named after the mathematician Giuseppe Piano. But there were others with similar ideas. Piano's definition used five axioms. Here's a simplified modern version of the crucial two. Zero is a piano number. If n is a piano number, sn is also a piano number. Very simple. s means successor, so in piano arithmetic, the number one is s0. The number three is sss0, and so it goes on. If you have enough time, you can reach a number of any size. And all the natural numbers can be written using just four symbols, S, left brackets, right brackets, and zero. It doesn't look practical, but it was important. First, it's a definition in terms of itself, a recursive definition. Second, it tells you how to build any number. You start from zero and keep adding more S's. Still going. It's a kind of counting. With numbers expressed in this very basic way, it was possible to talk more clearly about the limits of computation and what could be known. Piano was a university professor and by all accounts extremely popular. Maybe one of the reasons is that although he gave us this definition of numbers, throughout his career he never once used exams with his students.